What's up guys, Charles from FreeTanks Dev. In this video, we're gonna do a setup on the Sony A6500 on the DJI Ronin SC. And this time around, finally, I'm gonna do a setup with the focus motors. I actually intended to do the setup on a manual focus lens. I actually did buy it for the Canon EOS RP. Unfortunately, look at the size of this. It's absolutely massive. This is the EOS RP and this is the lens and yep. So from just looking at it, you can tell it was impossible to balance. This is a new RF lens from Samyang and this weighs 800 grams. This is even heavier than a Sigma 35 millimeter for the Sony A7 Mark III. I'm gonna do the setup on something a little bit easier, which is the A6500 with my favorite lens of all time, the Sigma 16 millimeters f1.4 lens. So take off the lens hood and the lens cover. We try to make it as bare as possible. If you wanna throw on an ND filter, go ahead but try to keep it as minimal as possible. So besides the Ronin SC and the tripod, these are the items required to set up your focus motor on the DJI Ronin SC. So first of all, we have the USB Type-C cable. I'm using a Sony camera, so I'm going to be looking for the USB Type-C cable which says Multi to Sony. And then next up, we have the RSS splitter. This would be unmistakable. This really, really long wire with this centerpiece and both sides are USB type C as well. So you need this cable as well and then you will need the track. This is for wrapping around the lens and then we, of course we have the quick adjustment plate. Screw in two screws into the quick adjustment plate and you can see the hole at the, bottom, at the top here is slightly bigger. So screw in both the screws and let it slide down. Then next up we have the lens support with the screw so this side you can see is the bigger side the bigger side is where the screw goes in then we got the camera riser then we got the focus motor and then we will need these two pieces as well that comes in the box inside the small ziplock bag get out four of this of these screws as you can see over here get out four of these you will read you will need to use all four of them and an allen key as well i got the longer allen key with the head slightly looking at this shape and last of all get a screwdriver or a coin i just got a normal coin to screw these screws the bigger screws like on the camera riser or you can get a screwdriver so let's get straight to the setup right now starting with the camera riser and on the camera riser you can actually see on both sides of the camera riser there are two holes just choose any of the sides okay so the two holes here and then what you want to do is get out this piece over here this piece and also get up that or I ask you to prepare four of these mini screws over here yeah so this screw get out three of those screws right now and then on the camera riser get this piece and make sure that this piece this portion here is actually facing downwards. We don't want it to be this direction. We want it to be this direction on the left hand side. So if, if you're facing this piece over here, this piece should be on the bottom and on your left hand side. Okay, so have your camera riser together with this piece and you can see multiple holes on this piece over here. You want to use one, two, the two bigger holes. Those are the two holes the bigger holes where you are going to screw those two metal screws into the camera riser hole like this the two bigger holes we'll be using it for something else so just ignore that last hole for the next one second just use these two holes and the camera riser put it behind it and screw those metal screws in so i just screwed it in halfway can see that so this again this is facing downwards plus to orientate yourself this should be on your left hand side okay so they got the screws in and we're just gonna screw it on use the uh, allen key that came in the box in the zip lock bag screw it in first and then once that's in you can just put it on top of the camera riser and then tighten it Make sure that it's flushed as well. So this is what it should look like. 
the two screws and leaving that last the two screws screwed in to the camera riser and that hole is left untouched so we're gonna fit the this hole into this hole right now just slot it in like that about you can put it straight in the middle and then once it's in the, somewhere in the middle you don't have to be accurate for this this one you just need to, if you want to put it a little bit further out or in it's up to you put it in and you will see at the bottom let me orientate you again put that this stick into the hole turn it up to the bottom you will see a larger hole and then drop a screw in to this hole over here and then tighten it so that the stick won't move so take that same metal screw because I did ask you to get get out four of these screws so this is the third screw that you're using this screw use the uh, screwdriver again the uh, allen key screw it all the way tightly until that doesn't move so right now we got it like this next step get the rss cable the rss splitter cable the one with this big center piece right here and then get the rss cable here make sure that the dji words are upright like right now you can see on the screen the dji words are upright face it towards you okay so the dji words are upright and facing towards you right now and then we want this dji words to be facing downwards so turn it around facing downwards so the dji words are facing downwards get this thing that you just build so the camera riser is here and if you flip it like this if you flip it horizontally the camera riser is on top at the bottom here where the two screws are you will see that additional hole you will see that additional hole at the corner here remember i asked you to keep it safe free for now <clears throat> once you flip this rss cable downwards with the dji words facing downwards you will be able to see this like a small uh, thing jutting out jutting out that piece that small piece like a lego piece that goes into the bigger hole just fit it in like a lego piece like this this is what it looks like yeah so this is what it looks like so just push it in and hold it your thumb and your index finger hold it down like this and then we're going to take that last screw that last metal screw turn it upside down at the bottom you will see a hold a hole drop the metal screw into that hole like that all the way down and then get your allen key and tighten it so put your allen key put this uh, to tighten that screw so right now we are actually inverted make sure the lego piece is facing downwards then you just screw in that screw and make sure that it's flushed and tightened yeah and this should be the end result okay so like i said for this portion here the dji words are actually underneath if i flip it around the dji words are here so fit this to at the bottom into the larger hole and also drop the screw at the bottom here and then just tighten it using the allen key so this is the final product if i show it from the side view like i orientated you from the beginning this piece over here is always facing your left this is what it looks like from the bottom view the metal piece is over here two screws camerizer and then this rss splitter hope you are up to speed with this it is slightly complicated yeah so carrying on okay so what i like to do here which i feel is something easier if you watch the original dji tutorial on the focus motor is not really very clear and the way they do it is slightly difficult so how i like to do it on my own is i like to remove the whole lens from and separate it from the body so that makes it easier to do a lot of things so i'm going to separate it out so we just got the a6500 body so right now with the metal pole this metal pole here should be on the left hand side of yourself with the camera body facing yourself that pole should also be on the left hand side that means the pole should be underneath the camera grip over here the camera grip over here that pole should be underneath 
and then you just use that screw uh, take the coin or your screwdriver and screw in the camera riser to the bottom of the uh, camera so, and make sure that it's flush so that this should be the easy part screwing in the camera riser into the camera and the reason why I took off the lens is so that I can get a better grip if the lens was here you can see how big that lens is that would make it more difficult to actually do the mounting of this uh, camera riser so okay so we got the camera riser on and make sure that it's flush looks good you can also throw on the quick adjustment plate right now same thing make sure you follow the direction of the lens okay i mean there's no lens of course right now but just follow the direction of the lens on the camera riser and screw it to the bottom So use your fingers and tighten it as much as possible then use a coin or a screwdriver and just tighten it down the quick adjustment plate make sure that it's all the way to heavy like that so i got it all the way to the top right here because the lens uh the sigma 16 millimeters is pretty pretty large so it's pretty long i mean so we just want to get as much of the extension of the quick adjustment plate as possible for support so this is what it looks like right now So this RSS player will be resting on the uh, quick adjustment plate, so that's all good. Actually, it's not, it's not resting, it's just like a millimeter above. And also loosen this screw over here. And right now we have the lens um, separated out because what I find if you had the lens on the body and you try to mount this thread, get out the thread right now, and if you try to mount the thread on the body, it's extremely difficult because this thread is so strange. It's meant to be like this, but it's really, really difficult to get it on. So what I do is I'll, I'll take the thread and then I'll just give, give a rough measurement like this. About this much. See, I can wrap it as much as possible around here. And then what I'll do is I'll just tighten this on my estimate just now around the diameter of the lens like this and just uh, right now I'm pushing it in it's really really hard to get it's a bit tight but that's the way it's supposed to be for these treads okay so I got it in like that and uh, we have this additional thing so once you got it in we want this portion over here the track the portion of the track we want it to be in the middle of the lens so normally the lens all lenses should have that white dot like this see so that white dot on top this should be the center of uh, the lens so we want to get this piece over here in the middle as well so how I do the trend is that I will just slide it on and when you slide it on okay here's the white dot when you slide it on we want this loose end here to be away slide it on i'll slide it on first and i'll show you what i mean so i'm just sliding it on right now that's a good fit i believe yep it's a good fit okay we want this thread here to be pointing away from any parts of the we want it to be pointing away if we put it the other way around this thread will be pointing inwards and maybe disturbing the um, the left hand side of the A6500 of the RSS player. So when you are push pushing on the thread, make sure that the loose end is actually nearer to the lens and not the other way around. The other way around meaning the other way. So this is the way I just did it just now. The other way around is if I put it this way. As you can see right now the difference the thread is on near to the camera imagine that the camera body is here the thread is on the inside we want the thread to be on the outside so it won't interfere with anything so get that thread away nearer to the lens feel that the your measurement is a bit loose you can just take it out readjust it a little bit tighter for me i think it's good so you can just test it out if you just move it it should be nice and smooth okay so we got it done pretty cool Okay, so right now we are ready to mount this lens with the thread onto your camera. Nice, very nice and smooth. 
Okay, so we are already coming to the end. Uh, next up, get your lens support and the larger side of the lens support. That's where the screw goes in. So the larger side is this side. Put it underneath the hole there on the quick adjustment plate. Underneath the lens, use your thumb and your middle finger to hold it flush down and take your screw and screw it in. This lens support is of course optional because the lens support is actually hindering the uh, movement of the thread on the uh, manual focus wheel because the, the lens support is actually rubbing against the manual focus wheel. So if you don't require this, you can just remove it if you want to. Mine seems to be pretty alright, not really affecting the movement. Oh, it is. Okay, so I'm going to take it off. It is, it is affecting it. Yep, so I'm going to leave out the lens support so that lens support is optional. And uh, last of all is the focus motor. So focus motor, pretty easy. This is the focus motor. That hole at the bottom here and that track. Just get this track in line with the track on your lens. Okay, so push it in. Push in the track, make sure that it is in line in line with the thread on your um, lens and then just tighten that screw below once your track is uh, touching the thread on your so you can see that I'm turning the wheel and both of it is turning so make sure that this track on the focus motor is actually touching the thread on the lens. So this is what it looks like from the front. Yep, so basically that's it guys. Already done. We got these cables hanging around here. Looks good, looks good. So basically that's it. Uh, now we're going to do the mounting. Okay, so get out your uh, DJI Ronin SC. Unlock the joystick is facing myself for easier reference so that you can orientate yourself to be similar to me unlock all three axes open it up once you open it up this uh, axis should be facing you underneath uh, above the joystick lock that in place once you got it open up look at the front of the camera the lens this loose wire should go into the focus motor just plug it in like that. Easy peasy. And uh, the other cable will actually run into the axis, the tilt axis of the Ronin SC. Same place where you normally plug in your uh, wire. So this is the axis. So this is the exact same place that you normally plug in your cable to connect your camera. So instead of plugging it from the Ronin SC's access to the camera it will be from the RSS splitter to the camera so let's slide this in and then now uh, once it's slid in we can actually attach this cable uh, case to the axis you know it looks pretty good so we got that settled this is what it looks like from the side view so the tilt and the roll axis so unlock the tilt and the roll axis Okay, so we're going to do the normal balancing, we're going to do the front, the tilt balance first. Make sure that it's not front heavy. You can see that it's tilting to the right right now, so I'm going to turn it to the left to get it centered. And yep, I'm not touching it, it's not tilting to the left or the right, and it's not tilting forward and backwards. Pretty nice. It's all the way, if you look at my, screw, my setting right here, it's all the way to the front already. So just nice, and I'm going to tighten the bottom. I have not uh, done this setup before, so the previous setup on my Ronin SE was actually on my EOS RP, so I'm just lucky that immediately when I mounted it, it balanced. I just need to make uh, a little bit adjustment of the left to right, the tilt, and it's got settled. And uh, right now we've got, we're going to do the tilting upwards. So right now it's front heavy, so we're going to shift it 
uh, further back and make sure that it stays and uh, so we got this this and last of all loose uh, unlock this pan axis screw and we're gonna do the balancing of the pan axis the knob is on the left hand side this is the joystick the knob is on the left hand side loosen that tilt it upwards and 45 degrees to the left if it rolls back means it's not balanced but I normally do get this issue on the A6500 it's really really it always rolls back no matter what marking I choose I've tried every single marking and for the A6500 strangely enough it always rolls back but we're gonna try it anyway so what the other way I need like to do is I like to align this if it stays and that means it's good enough for me so what I did again was front this is the facing front the lens is facing front, tilt it upwards and since I cannot get it to balance 45 degrees tilt, take this arm over here take this arm, push it down like that and if it stays that's good enough of a balance for me so this is how I normally balance the A6500 this way so pretty strange but it looks alright the marking is at uh, about two yeah the markings below is about two so basically we got it set up so last of all is to get this cable the Sony cable um, the Sony cable Get your mobile phone out as well we're gonna access the Ronin SC app uh, because whenever we do a new setup I like to hit the auto tuning button so for the for the Sony cable basically uh, on the RSS splitter the the uh, 90 degree head on the uh, Sony cable is going into that RSS splitter and the, the straight end of the USB Type-C cable goes into the Sony so that's about it so yeah I got all of it plugged in and we're gonna power it on okay so we're gonna power this on camera on as well go into your Ronin app make sure all the axes are actually uh, unlocked go into the Ronin app on your mobile phone and then we're just gonna hit um, under the motor parameters hit auto tune You need to switch your uh, settings on your Sony to manual focus. Okay, so we're going to switch the uh, mode on your A6500 to manual focus mode first before we try out the axis and the balancing, whether everything is perfect. So just go into your menu portion and then go into first option over here. Out of 14, you should see focus mode, switch that to manual focus. Yeah, that's about it. Now we're going to do the testing out of the how well I did the balancing and stuff so okay so uh, I'm just gonna put it to the left and right nice no weird noises from the motors tilt up 90 degrees tilt down Okay, so that looks good. So now we're going to do the most important thing, which is the barrel. Double tap the manual button three times. Once you're in barrel roll, flip your joystick to the left or to the right twice. And if it goes around without any issue, you know that you got a good balance. So in order to stop this, double tap the trigger uh, button in front of the Ronin SC. okay so we got a re really good balance so just want to show you that the pull focus wheel actually works right now uh, make sure again it is in manual mode okay so I'm just gonna show you I'm gonna turn the uh, pull focus wheel on the side right now over here I'm gonna pull this wheel this wheel should control the focus motors over here 
and also turn the thread on your lens so I will show you from the front I'm going to turn the wheel here with my left hand you can see the wheel moving I'm going to show you the picture that it is going in and out of focus all right so yeah I just needed some adjustment uh, the focus motor wasn't touching the thread but right now I got it settled and you can see very very nice all works right so basically that was it guys this is how you set up your focus motor on your DJI Ronin SC on your Sony a6500 or any other camera that is balanceable on the DJI Ronin SC which requires the usage of the camera riser and the quick adjustment plate if your setup is a little bit too heavy such as my Canon EOS RP with uh, this lens is especially heavy if you have to do the hack method of uh, balancing your camera then unfortunately I don't think I will try it out but I don't think you can use the focus motor setup on the hack way of mounting uh, heavy cameras or cameras which are extremely front heavy so I will leave a link in the description if you are having a really heavy camera setup and having difficulty that is a way a hack way of mounting your camera on your gimbal to get it balanced for especially heavy or front heavy cameras so thanks guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video I uh, hope you like this uh, tutorial and in the next video I will be coming up with the uh, balancing tutorial on this beast the Canon ESRP with the Samyang RF lens 14 millimeters f 2.8 which weighs 800 grams absolutely massive so we're gonna mount this on the Ronin SC in the next video so stay tuned for that uh, hit the subscribe button the like button and the notifications button and I'll see you in the next one peace